Okay, today I want to talk about JRA failures on carbon fiber bicycles. So JRA just riding along. So typical scenario, you're riding your bike along just down the street, cruising along 30k an hour, whatever it is, just you know, flat road, not much, not much going on, and your bike fails, your carbon bike fails. So what causes that? Why, why would a carbon bike just fail like that? So um, it's, a bit of a, um, it's a bit of a popular or populist sort of theory that, oh, a carbon bikes so are just, you're riding along and they just explode. So it's just, a carbon therefore is no good. You need a steel bike or an aluminium bike or a titanium bike. So, um, so today I just want to bust some of those little myths a bit and, uh, and just talk about what causes those um, as JRA failures. So the primary, the primary reason for those JRA failures are manufacturing faults in the bike. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see that you know, these little manufacturing faults um, are quite, quite common. And it, depending on the location of those, those flaws, um, they can cause these JRA failures. So what typically would happen is, you know, if you have a void um, or a wrinkle, those, uh, those points, those flaws, act as failure initiation points. And so when the load comes on, even if it's a subcritical load, that area, the damage area can grow um, and become larger and larger and larger until quite an insignificant load can make that area fail. So, so that's, that's, one of the common, uh, that's one of the common causes for these JRA failures. So the, the other thing that can happen, and uh, again, that's, it, it also is reasonably common, is you impact the frame, either knowingly or uh, unknowingly, and you cause a delamination in the bike. So, you know, typical scenarios, you know, you lean the bike up against the wall, um, it falls over, you, you didn't know, you didn't see it fall over, whatever, you come back, pick up your bike, you go and ride, and, and something fails. So, you know, the other one is you put the bike in the back of your car and you close the boot or the hatch or whatever you have and you don't know but something inside like in the in the boot or the, like the hinge or something like that has just whacked the bike so you know those sorts of things um, can happen where you don't even know that the bike has been impacted so uh, I mean I, I, I get bikes come in all the, to all the time where it's been impacted and it's clearly an impact and the owner will say category no nah, i've never dropped the bike i've never done this never done that so and i i i, I believe them because you know if, if if you know if you knowingly impacted the bike you'll say it right like why, why wouldn't you um unless you're trying to claim some insurance and do a dodgy um, but the uh, the yeah, so the it, you can unknowingly impact the bike, create a delamination. That delamination will grow over time and cause uh, cause it the uh, the failure to happen. So so, so that's it. JRA failures. Um, well made, non impacted carbon fibre will not just fail. Just riding your bike along the road in an in a easy manner. So. Um, so if, if, if that happens, it's been either impacted or it's got a manufacturing flaw in it. They're the, they're the common scenarios. So before you go out and, uh, and say, oh, carbon's not, carbon's not a suitable material for a bicycle, um, it, it actually is a very suitable material for bicycles. However, it needs to be looked after accordingly and it needs um, to be made properly. So, if, if it was a material thing, then 
you know, Boeing, Airbus, all the aircraft manufacturers, etc., they wouldn't be making commercial aircraft out of a material which would just explode randomly in the sky and then and put thousands and thousands of passengers um, in these planes. So it's not a material thing, it's a process and a handling thing. So I'll leave it at that for the day and uh, hope you learned something. If you, uh, if you like, like what you see, yeah, keep subscribing to the channel and watching the channel. And for more information on you know, these sort of flaws, the wrinkles, etc., uh, voids, have a look at some of the other videos and, uh, and you'll see plenty of examples there. Okay, till next time, see you again soon. Bye.